I'm Carolyn Ray. I'm Chair of Brain Sciences at the University of New South Wales and I'm based at Neuroscience Research Australia, which is an independent medical research institute in Sydney, Australia. Our main focus is on questions to do with the brain and the central nervous system. Imaging really supports our research because it's crucial for underlying being able to look at the brain. The brain is, is in a box and you can't get hold of it. You can't say to people, can I have a piece of your brain to take home? So you need to be able to take pictures and imaging allows us to do that in a comfortable and non-invasive way for the person who's being imaged. Well, the challenges that we experience trying to get the required information include things like imaging people who are perhaps less compliant for imaging. So people with dementia, people with spinal cord injury, people who have mental illness. So they need to feel comfortable in the scanner and we need to be able to get the information quickly. The toolbox that we use to acquire information from our non-compliant patients is, is reasonably deep, actually. We have many different things to choose from. We can choose from uh, multiband imaging so that we can acquire more than one slice at once, which obviously speeds up the image. We can use compressed sense, which um, also allows us to speed up the image, um, provided you have sufficient signal to noise, which we do. Um, and we can also use new imaging techniques like spiral acquisitions, which also speed up imaging and also give you more signal to noise. T1 image is um, basically the bread and butter for most of the researchers. So pretty much everybody starts off with a, a, a T1 weighted three dimensional image. And the reason that we do that is so that we can parcelate the volumes in the brain and also use it to co-register with all the other images that we acquire. And so researchers are interested in getting the most accurate and probably the fastest image that they can get because in research also time is money and people have limited research money and they want to acquire things as quickly as possible. So one of the things that we've been looking at with our, our T1, 3D T1, also known as MP Rage, is to acquire that as accurately and as quickly as possible. And one of the things that we're looking at is, is using spiral acquisition, which is where instead of acquiring Cartesian coordinates, you acquire your images through spiral case space. You either go in or out depending on how you want to weight the image. And the T1s are just gorgeous because with the spiral, you can speed them up, but also it enables you to have less blurring, less T2 weighting, and the images are coming out really crisp and, and sharp and also really fast with fantastic amounts of signal to noise. The good results we get with T1 Spiral, I think we can weight those away to a number of issues in the Phillips system. So the whole acquisition train is really important for image integrity and Phillips have paid attention to almost every part of that acquisition train. So in order to do successful spiral imaging, you need really good gradient linearity and integrity. You also need to be able to construct a really nice B0 map of your brain so that you can actually unwrap spiral image properly. <laughs> so there's a whole number of things that have to come together in order for you to be able to construct a spiral image which has full integrity. And um, I, th I think we've got to that point where we can do these really fast spiral images that look lovely and also go perfectly well through a package like Free Surfer and parcelate with, with really good reproducibility. The future clinical ap applications of spiral, it will enable you to have better resolution. Um, also, it's obviously faster. So, you know, you can image, image a person quicker. I mean, with, with spiral, you have a choice. You can either acquire the image more quickly or you can acquire the image with more signal to noise or, or have some balance between the two because spiral gives you both signal to noise and speed. Well we've just had an email from one of our researchers saying cracking images from your scanner. 